A group of Brown University researchers looked at airflow patterns inside a car using computer models to see if there were ways to potentially reduce aerosol transmissions while sharing a ride. The study played out scenarios for a compact car with two people in it, a driver and one person sitting behind the passenger seat, putting the two the furthest distance from each other in the car. Look at what happened when the heat was on and all the windows were up. The aerosols trapped circulating between the two. When the windows are up, that was the lowest level of ventilation that we observed uh, compared with the, window, with the windows open. Researchers say that blasting the car's heat or AC didn't circulate air nearly as well as simply opening a few windows, finding that the most effective way to diffuse aerosol particles. The best option? keep all the windows open. And that's not surprising because we would expect that the more windows are open, the more circulation of air there is and the, and the easier it is to flush uh, any contaminants out of the car. But what if the weather is just too cold or wet? While you may think it makes sense to open the window closest to you, this study finding that opening the window across from you actually helps optimize the airflow more. So if you're the driver, the researchers recommend opening the passenger window. If you're sitting in the back on the passenger side, they say open the window behind the driver. Air enters that window, travels behind the passenger, then out the other window, minimizing the spread of particles between the two occupants. And so that this makes sense, I'm sitting in the driver's seat. This study says that you should actually open the passenger side window. And another interesting takeaway from this study, opening the window even just a little bit appeared to help. That got the air moving and that made a difference. Now, experts say more studies need to be done to understand how COVID-19 is transmitted inside of a vehicle. The CDC says when you are in a confined space, you should wear one of these, a mask. And they recommend that you sit as far apart as is possible inside the vehicle. Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York.